Uh, rustic furniture is uh, furniture with functional use to it, made out of uh, the most natural raw elements I can find in the woods. I mean, I try to build things that are plumb level and square, which are essentially the, the building code for a, you know, a decent carpenter in the trades is PLS, plumb level square. Um, I try to have furniture that, you know, when you come up and you put your hands on it, it doesn't feel rickety, it feels strong, because in my impression, nature is very strong, it's balanced, and it's functional. Well, I think there's a sentimental attachment that people have to wood from their property that goes back to the pioneers. So if I can get a piece of you know, wood or incorporate something off of the property, I always think that that's a bonus. It makes, makes it feel like it was custom. This guy right here is one of three um, that I'm making for a camp up in the Adirondacks. And uh, they're intended to be stool height, not chair or, or such. Uh, and not bar stools, but this is a natural oak branch. It's actually a tree that was maybe, I don't know, four inches around at its base. Um, all of the components are oak, except for the top, which is uh, these slats are uh, black walnut. These three stools, be time between you know getting the materials, cutting, peeling bark, I've got probably, I don't know, 50 hours, I'll say, in these three stools at this point, and they're not done yet. I think part of the whole artistic thing, you know, is that I think one thing that people don't recognize enough so much if they're not artistic or they don't have a, an art form they do themselves is I don't think that they they really understand how much how much real intense labor goes into stuff. You know, I never had any idea. <laughs> I think, you know, communication is the number one thing. Uh, I think it's important that people realize that um, I have been creating this stuff for a, a number of years, um, that my stuff does represent differently than a lot of things they may see on other websites. Um, this is more uh, artistic sculptures, you know, end of things than, uh, you know, I've got a tenon machine that makes perfect tenons and you can, you know, each piece will look the same. They're, these are all very much unique, one of a kind, and uh, talk to me, and, and you know, usually that's the best way to get something going. <laughs>